Hello guys and welcome to the channel of absolute quality. We're back with Destiny 2. We've got the exotic, the prospector, grenade launcher. So, one thing I want to say first, this was my first exotic. As you can see in the video right now, I was super excited about it. I was teabagging just a little bit. I was uh, entranced by the <laughs> the fact that I finally got a drop of an uh, exotic Ingram. It was, it was just the Ingram. I'd actually had exotics before, but this was an exotic drop. And I was like, boom, baby. I got it. So, let's talk about the prospector here. So, we got it visually here. Uh, it's mine is arc. I don't know. I think you can change it. I'm not sure but uh, I had light level 261 or power level whatever you want to call them so uh, It's a grenade launcher and the caption for it says some things should stay buried I don't know what that means, but it's very cool. It's a Tex Mechanica Weapon so it visually it looks very appealing it kind of looks like you know the the shotgun that they had I don't remember what that was called in Destiny 1, but it kind of looks, you know, it's got that esque. Uh, it looks pretty good. So, blast radius is kind of small, uh, which is kind of, you know, what grenade launchers really feel like. Uh, velocity goes very fast, though. Shoots out of there like a cannon. Um, stability, pretty good. Stability and handling are also pretty good. Reload speed, obviously, it's very slow. It's a heavy weapon, it's a power weapon. So, uh, 165 rounds per minute. It's alright, I guess. Um, and then we got our magazine, which is eight. All right, now let's check out his perks. So the main perk that it has, the prospector has, is excavation. Now, when you hold the right trigger, so you shoot all of your you shoot all your grenades. So you release you release it to detonate all live grenades simultaneously. So I'll show you a clip of that right now. So you basically just hold as many as you want to shoot out. It holds eight. So if you shoot all eight into the air or into the ground, and as long as it doesn't hit an enemy, the grenade won't explode. So you can shoot them all out, and then, so this is probably good for maybe a boss, if you're gonna wanna shoot them into the air a little bit, arc them, and then you let go, and then they all explode at the same time. So it's doing a lot of damage, but you just need to make sure that they're not gonna hit anything before that, because when they actually do hit something, they blow up immediately, so. It just depends on where you're shooting them. Say you want to make a line, say there's a bunch of thrall coming or something. You just shoot it in kind of line, and then as soon as they get there, let go, blow all of them up. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's a kind of cool uh, perk. It's not really super useful because, I mean, the gun itself is actually really nice. <laughs> it blows stuff up quite well. But other than that, that perk, I don't, I don't really see it very useful for me anyways. Uh, the next thing they got is Volatile Launch. It just, you know, it's... It says this weapon is optimized for an especially explosive payload. So it increases the blast radius, but it does hurt handling and projectile speed. That's all right, though. And then we got augmented drum. High capacity drum, baby. We love the, all, those, all those nades. And then it's got the full auto trigger system. So you just hold it and it just keeps shooting. That's, that's probably the best one because you don't really have to wait. You don't have to, like, double tap it. Or you don't have to double tap it. You can just mow down a line of stuff, you know. It's pretty nice. And then hand blade stock, obviously, recoil. Recoil is not bad on this weapon. So, uh, the weapon mods it has, it, it got a, for me, it got a weapon attack mod, so it got 5 plus attack. And also, oh, I could infuse it. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't get anything else with it, but honestly, it's a nice weapon. Uh, but we're also going to look at the lore. So, there is a new tab, it says lore. And we're definitely gonna check that out. So it says the prospector, some things should stay buried. Get your axe and your pick and your shovel and your spine. We're going prospecting. What? That, the quote, I don't get it. It's an old saying. It's about putting in a hard day's work. Seems antiquated. How so? My grenade launcher's full auto and goes boom on command. What do I need hand tools for? It's a metaphor. It ain't literal, at least not anymore. Your launcher is your hand tool. Hand tool. Ah, got it. Good to know. So basically, it's just you know, it's his digging tool, right? This is killing tool. So, uh, anyways, this gun is really nice. I do enjoy it. Uh, you've seen me shooting it around a bunch of times uh, so far, basically. So, you know, it, it's a really nice weapon. It's a it's a good heavy. I don't think. This gun is useful in raids or anything like that. I would say probably a sword or an actual a rocket launcher or a sniper rifle is probably a better power weapon than that 
for any raids. Uh, but just to mess around with, to do patrols and do uh, public events, it's it's pretty nice weapon. I, I enjoy it. Just to mess around. Messing around with this exotic weapon is probably the funnest I've ever had, <laughs> honestly. You just, you just gun it everywhere. It's pretty fun, so... Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this content, I'm going to be posting a whole lot of exotic weapons and any Destiny content. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like the video if you did like it. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.